Reducing CO2 emissions has been a crucial subject in shipping and logistics in the past years. For Hapag Lloyd, showing responsibility in how we treat our planet has always been part of our DNA. It is true that around 3% of the global CO2 emissions are caused by the shipping industry. Around 90% of global trade is carried by sea, and container vessels will remain the most important, efficient and eco-friendly mode of transportation for moving large volumes of goods or products to connect manufacturers and customers worldwide. To gain perspective on how container shipping compares to other modes of transportation, it helps to look at the specific CO2 emissions per tonne kilometre. This means the amount of CO2 that is caused by transporting one tonne of cargo for one kilometre. Taking the four main ways of transportation – truck, railroad, airplane and container vessel – the shipping industry emits the least amount of CO2 per unit. Compare the more than 600 grams of CO2 per tonne kilometre of air cargo to only around 4 grams of CO2 per tonne kilometre of an average container ship. Since fuel consumption is the biggest cost factor when operating cargo ships, increasing the efficiency of container ships is in the interest of both carriers and shippers. Less fuel consumption also means less CO2 emissions. At Hapag Lloyd, we have implemented a number of initiatives over the last years to increase the efficiency of our cargo ships. New designs for bulbous bows to improve the hydrodynamic qualities of vessels. Innovative propellers increase the efficiency of the ship's propulsion. Regularly cleaning marine biological growth from our ship's hulls further reduces the water resistance during voyages. And whenever it's possible, Hapag Lloyd takes it slow. Slow steaming means reducing the overall voyage speed when the schedule allows it. This enables us to use more efficient engines and consume a lot less fuel. All with the goal of reducing the amount of CO2 we are releasing into the atmosphere. Through these and other measures, Hapag Lloyd was able to reduce specific CO2 emissions per TEU kilometer between 2008 and 2019 by 50%. When it comes to reducing our CO2 emissions, we have made significant progress over the last decade. Nevertheless, it is also very clear that we will need to make further progress in terms of modernizing our fleets, boosting the efficiency of existing propulsion and vessel systems, and exploring and adopting new fuels and technologies to reduce our industry's CO2 footprint. We still have some way to go. Luckily, Hapag Lloyd knows all about long journeys.